He's useless? Let's say he said he promised to be respectful. No, no, you know what? He's but, he's respectful. He doesn't but we will choose the topic, yes? All right? Let's choose the Trinity. Nice topic, yeah? Let's shoot the trend, yeah? That's the topic, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, so Sheikh Mohammed. Sheikh Mohammed. Yes. Uh, God. My name is God. Your name is God, then? What's this nonsense, man? No, no, I know I know you have a different. I understand you have a different. Okay. You, you, are, you, are, you are the father. The God is the father. <laughs> No, no, no. You are the father. The Godhead comprises of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I think the Godhead so, is another, the Father. It's another name of uh, Trinity. Okay. Okay. Let's discuss the, the Trinity. Now, you believe in Jesus to be God, yes? So, so uh, just in terms of uh, how we can do this, you might make two minutes each. Have you? I, I don't hackle. I, don't, I will not hackle. So if you don't hackle, I will not hackle. So like, no. Question, question? Yeah, that's like this. Yeah, I could say. But it's about the topic, yeah? The Trinity. Trinity, no. Nothing else. So you believe that Jesus is God, yes? Yes, we do. Okay, good. And part of the triune God, yes? Okay. What is the definition of God, according to you, when we define God? So God is a spirit. So you know John chapter 4, verse 24. It says, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So, when we say, when you ask the question, what is God? Okay. You cannot answer, or, or should we say, the question should not be answered without clarity on the okay. substance of this. And so, for the born again, as a born again Christian, we believe that uh, God is a spirit which is above the physical world. Okay. You see here, that's a problem. Now, in the Old Testament, where does something indicate that God is a spirit? Or in the three Gospels, apart from the Gospel of John? Okay, so, so if we go to Genesis, uh, the book of Genesis, uh, and also if we go to... What the book of Genesis? What it says, God is spirit. Okay, so Deuteronomy, for example. Deuteronomy. So okay. what I mean Say is... Uh, read, 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 read it, So... I think, uh, I think you know. Yeah, I know, I know. Yes. Uh, so read it. Yes. In fact, let me go. Let me go. Yeah, go. Let me go. Good, good. Deuteronomy 6, chapter 6, verse 4. No, don't, don't fold my uh, jacket. What's this? It's big on respect, no? <laughs> So, uh, so Deuteronomy 6 verse 4 it says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one. Now, this is referring to a compound unity of it. Because the context is, if you read, I'll just say this one. What, what, what's your name? But I don't like calling you Godhead. Let me call you something else. What's your name? Yeah, Give me your name. You can say, you can call me GHT. No. Whatever, whatever you want to call me. No, just I need. No, what, what, what do you have a name? No, no. I, just, just name Michael. What's your name, Michael? My personal. No. I don't know. What, I, I will. I don't like calling you Godhead because you're not Godhead. But give me something else to call you. Any name? What's your surname, Mister G? Mister G. G. Okay, Mister G. He doesn't want to call me Godhead. Yeah, I don't. No, I don't want to call you Godhead. Okay, but so when yeah, yeah, yeah. we say Mister G, Mister G, Mister G, I asked you initially. Yes. I need. A source, I don't want your interpretation. Don't bring your interpretation to it. So you brought me, you brought me things about the Old Testament that the God is one. Yes? Okay. That has nothing to do about the concept of the Trinity inside it. So I don't want your interpretation or the Christian interpretation. Yeah, I want clear, clear. Let's go to, go to. Isaiah chapter 48. Read, please. Verse 16. So this is what it says in the book of Isaiah. It says, Come ye near unto me, hear ye this, I have not spoken in secret. 
from the beginning, from the time that it was. There am I. And now the Lord God and His Spirit have sent me. So your question was, prove to you where God is a spirit in accordance with John 4. Okay. Alright. Do you know what means in English? His. Can it be in any sort of form? Means the spirit belongs to God. For example, for example, Mr. G and his phone came. It doesn't mean his phone is part of you. So it could be an ownership for that. Yes? Am I right? Yeah. So that's why, since God is the creator of everything, including the spirit, then that's why the spirit as well, it can be interpreted in different ways. Could be the for example, Angel Gabriel, which is, which is, we call it the Holy, the Holy Spirit, which is the, the angel, the Archangel Gabriel, the Islam, from the Islamic theology. And as we're kind of, in a way, about talking about the Spirit which God has sent to Moses, peace be upon him, which is not necessarily God himself, which is a, a, something sent by God, which is where it can be interpreted as the Namus or what is called the angels. So, so that's what we are talking about. So, you are bringing me a vague, a vague verse. It does not indicate to be God is a spirit. So we're done with this. Do you have any other thing? Okay, I, 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 I do. I do uh, somewhat disagree. Just checking your facts. No problem. I'm just. I'm no problem. Uh, no problem. We can disagree. Yeah. But my point is, my initial question is so simple and so straightforward. My initial question is. I need from your scripture, apart from, you know, the, the, the New Testament, which is specifically in the Gospel of John, I want something from the Old Testament indicating about God is a spirit. No That's my point. No Do you understand? That's a good question. Yeah, no, okay. Okay. So let me find another one. Yeah, okay, fine. And um, you see, one of the things I'll just say very quickly is... Sorry, Michelle. You alright? Assalamu alaikum. How are you okay? It's been quite some time I didn't see you. Are you okay? My father passed away after that. Rahmatullah alayhi. Rahmatullah May Allah forgive him and grant him Jannah. Amen. Inshallah. Okay. So, okay. So, for example, so one of the things that we see in Scripture from the very beginning, so we, Genesis is the beginning for us as, uh, as Christians, uh, very clearly of God being a spirit. So, for example, uh, Genesis 1, verse 1 to 2. It says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And verse 2 says, And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And then it goes on to say, And the Spirit of God, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the Lord. And so this ties in with John 4 verse 24. That God is a Spirit, and we must worship in the Spirit and in truth. Okay. So, and the, and the mobile of Mr. G fell on the floor. Does that mean you fell on the floor? So, do you understand the distinguish? Because when you say off, it means belonging. I'm asking you, you see, you are bringing again vague verses indicating about the spirit. My point is so simple. To say God is a spirit, this is what you said. God is a spirit. I said to you, as simple as that. When you say something off, something means an ownership or belonging, not necessarily himself is a spirit you understand so that's why if god represent himself as a spirit we'll say god, i'm a spirit but god for example according to this i'm just using this with the analogy because and the spirit of god here means basically you could say the will of god you could name it you could say god has created that spirit sent to sent on earth to say that spirit is god that is something else my point is so simple and so straightforward when you say off, means ownership. That's like when I'm talking to you about your mobile. This is the mobile of Mr. G. When the mobile fell on the floor, we say the, the mobile of Mr. G fell on the floor. And I think, you understand? Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, yeah? I'm saying. So I, I think what you're saying regarding off, when we look at the dictionary of off, what off means, yeah. what of of F, Yes, means, please. Um, that is inferring some sort of connection. Yes. Yes. Some I agree. Sort of connection. And that's fine because 
as a, as a born again Christian, one of the things we see in Scripture is the triune God creating the world, the heavens, and the earth. And that's kind of what we're effectively trying to convey: is that we're not saying that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are three separate gods. That's tritheism. What we're effectively saying is that whilst they're not separate, they are distinct. And they're distinct. You know, when it comes to the realm of the spirit, it's above the natural. We can't apply human logic to the supernatural. I understand. That's not the point. That's not my question. So the connection, I agree with you about the phone dropping on, onto the floor. It can still be my phone. I agree with that. But at the same time, you can still have a connection to it. Connection. It doesn't but, mean you. But it doesn't mean you. Uh, it, it, it's distinct from me. So it's not you. Yeah, but it's not necessarily me. Yeah, yeah it's not. Yes. Yeah, phone, so it's not you. The phone. So, phone so that's why. But, so, okay, so my point is that's why. That's why. That's why we put this on aside. So, 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 so this, this is one of the problems that Christian faith, yeah, they face about the concept of Trinity. They try to implement certain things with wording and these vague and ambiguous wording, and they try to implement it in their own theology to say of God, it means God. It doesn't mean this. The same, it, it does not mean God himself. So that's why the spirit doesn't represent God, for example, uh, rather than to be came from God, Created by God, that's fine. So there is a connection. I agree with you. There is a connection, yeah, which is definite connection. Which is the which is the connection between a creator and a creation. So he is the creator, and he has created the spirit and the creation. So that's the connection. So my my my, my question still stands. Yeah, but as well the next step, which talking about the Trinity. When we talk about you believe Jesus is God, and I ask you about the definition of God. From every single person yes. who is a God believer yes. will say God is all powerful. Yeah, God is all knowing. God has independent will. This everyone believes in God. Now, when I ask you to apply this on the triune God, and I'm talking to you since you said they are distinct from each other, meaning any of these triune God represent the other. Yes. Uh, so there is a, a connection, yes. A connection. So, so the Father represents the Son and the Holy Ghost, yes? Uh, the Father is connected. Connect. Okay. So when I ask you, is the Father all-powerful? You will say with no reluctance, yes. If I said to you, is the Father all-knowing? You will say with no reluctance, yes. If I said to you, is the Father? Does the Father has independent will? You will say with no reluctance, is yes. Now let's apply the same concept in Jesus. Is Jesus all powerful? So, can I just say, can I, can I just interject just there? Yes. So, when we're talking about the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we have to be careful what exactly we're referencing. Are we referencing the human nature or the divine nature? So, that would be what I just need some clarity. Are you referring to the human nature or the divine nature? Okay, it's, it's so simple. For example, Let's take. Let's talk about the second thing, the second concept about the uh, Jesus. About is is him all knowing or not? Now, when you apply, is Jesus all knowing? Now, let's use. They said you cannot be more royal than the king. Yes. Yeah. They say here you can't be, and you cannot have knowledge more than Jesus. Yes. About himself. So when people asked him, you know, in a time where people there were there were rumors spreading about Jesus about his nature and then they said what he is then he clearly in in, a, in places where he is able to say in front of all of the public i am god worship me he was able to do that and instead he has used certain things he said in front of children of israel oh you oh you of israel our lord is one simple so he said and he said our lord god is one he said so he has god he didn't say i'm part of it he didn't say I'm part, I'm part, by the way, I'm part of this tribe. He didn't say this. He said, our Lord, he included himself. He said to them, I'm going to my God and you God, my father and you father. So he has a father. Now, adding to this, when it comes to the question yes. about the hour, for example, they asked him, so this distinguish, distinguish the a create, a creator from the creation. Because God mentioned no one in the Old Testament, the only one knows about the hour is the creator that's something which is known no none of the prophets knows about the hour so when people ask jesus what is the hour a direct and a clear instruction that this in this in this position in this situation jesus he was able to demonstrate that he is god and he is the one who's worthy to be worshipped rather what he said 
No one knows about the hour except the father. Neither the son nor the angel. And then he, he emphasizes again. The only one knows about the hour is the father. Now, he didn't say, my human nature doesn't know about the hour, but my divine nature, he didn't say this. He said the son. The son in totality doesn't know about the hour. You understand? Yes, I can, yeah. I can touch. Now, uh, very interesting because I know there's a lot of people have question marks over that particular verse. But in the Gospels, it also says, it also says, Is this your Bible, by the way? Yeah. It also says that the flesh profited nothing. Yeah, can you open? No one knows about the hour except the Father. Can you open it here? Yes. So we can read it properly. So because some people they say you take it out of context. Let's. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. You know I what know, I'm talking about. Just, yeah, just because of the speed. I just want to give a little bit of context because yeah. uh, Jesus makes the emphasis on the fact that the flesh profits of nothing, but in the spirit, it, it's it's that's what's um, so. But what was it said? This in the in the same text? Was it said in the flesh? He doesn't know. In the flesh, he doesn't. Did know. he say that? Did he say what you said? Or well, where it says? Um, Did he say, in the flesh, I don't know about the hour, but in the spirit, I know about the hour. Did he say that? He says no man. No, no. He said no one. No man. But the father. He said but the father. You know what it means but the father. I'm, you know, I'm going to ask you to that because you make because it's different to what I think. If you show me the verse, can read it. Read it. Why we go far? I told you to open it there. Show me the verse. What well, I just want to also add, or also look to, is that when we, to understand the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you have to go back to Messianic prophecy. Because there's prophecy for over 4,000 years, like from in the Old Testament, 4,000 years of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth being prophesied to come. However, no one knows the day of or, or the hour. Yeah, when these things will happen, no one, not even the angels in the heavens or the son himself, yes. only the father knows. So he said, no one. Yes. Well, yes. What, uh, no. Okay. Yeah, Matthew 24, okay. 24, 36. Yes. Shall we, shall we, yeah, 24, 36, yeah. 36, yeah. Yeah, what it says? What it says. But, and this is fine, but in verse 36 of Matthew 24, yeah. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Okay, okay, okay by the way, that's changed there. Anyway, which, which, which Bible is this? Oh, this is King James. Yeah, so, this is King James as well. How is that? Uh, that's what it is. So, so here, so here they said, so this translation, yeah? So they know what the translation. So that's that's a problem. I mean, even the the doctoring is lost. Here it says, no one knows the hour, knows the day of the hour. Yeah, when these things will happen, he said, not even the angels in the heaven, or the sun himself. Even the sun himself doesn't know about the hour. Yeah, yeah. And then he said, only the Father. Now, huh? The sun? No, the sun is out. Angels are out. The sun is out. Okay, the same verse you read, it says, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels. No? Or, uh, what is the sun? What is it? It says, Knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Uh, what is the sun now here? How is that? How is that? That one's a new living translation. Okay, so, so but, there's. But a... I know your point. You're not so, saying, okay. You're not, you're not saying you're necessarily wrong. So it's right. Okay. So but now here, is, based okay, on this. Let me, let me, I'll let you speak, and then I'll come in. You see here? Because I, I, can, I can explain. You see here, and as well as here. But about that day, or the hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heavens. And this is another translation. So... I'm not saying you're wrong. So, now here, we have... Here, that's, by the way, here, let me see. Where is that? There's another verse as well which explains. I, I understand what you But the Father only. Yes, yes there's no one. Not even the angels in the heavens. So, nor the Son. So, now here, you see explain, here. I can just explain it. Because this one bamboozles so many people. Okay. So, now. 
Stick to the verse. Stick to the verse. Now, and so this verse is connected inextricably to Acts chapter one verse seven. Okay, can I read? Don't mind. Three. So look what it says. In fact, let's go to verse six. By the way, I don't trust this translation, but let me let me let me go. Let me go. By the way. Because here, each one, you see, that's, a, that's another problem. Now here, you see the sun. Was it in the original text or wasn't it in the original text? He said, no one knows about that, but the, neither the sun nor the angel. Was it in the original text or was it removed from the original text? If you scroll up, because you're on Bible Hub. Yeah. You see another uh, verse showing, can you see, look. Can you see, Mark 13. That's really what you mean, Mark 13, verse 32. So I, that's why I said you're not wrong. No, nor the sun. No, the sun. Yeah, that's that's you that's in, in Mark. You see, exactly. So, like I said, I know where he's going. I know Mark 13 verse two is where it says the sun. Clearly, does it, if I if I open in my King James, it will say. It. But to understand this particular verse, you have to read Acts one. Why did you choose that one? You, uh, no, no, no. This is, <laughs> no, no, no Let me tell you something. Let me quickly explain that. Explain. <laughs> by the way, by the way, by the way. Come on. Listen. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. <laughs> Do you understand me, what happened now? No, I know what you mean. Do you understand okay. what happened now? Give me one minute. One minute. So, so this is called plagiarism. <laughs> okay. 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 So, so, okay. so, so you know, respect me today. Okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. I respect this. Okay. I, I like it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Go on, go on. Okay. So, so, he's referred to another verse. My spirit with you. Okay. <laughs> there is no problem. There is no problem. Now, when we go to Acts chapter 1, verse 6 to 7, we get the context. Because when we read the word, we, look, we like to look at things holistically. So, I'll just really quickly read these verses. Uh, Acts chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. It says, When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And it says, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father have put in his own power. Okay, okay. Mark 1 verse 7. Yeah, that, um, that's Mark. Acts, Acts, sorry. That's Acts, Acts, Acts in John, one. yeah? In John. Uh, no, no. This These are the work of Paul, yeah? Acts, Acts, no, no, this is Luke. This is Luke, yeah? By the way, this Acts, is John, okay. Yeah, yeah, so. Okay, this is Luke, yeah? This is Rob, yeah, it's in Bible. It's in Bible. So, in his own power. So, you know, one of the things people may not be aware of when it comes to the Chinese God is that the Father is a role. I believe we call it the, um, the economic truth. So we have the imminent truth and we have the economic. And so the economic is referencing the function, the role of the members of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They all have different roles. So it's not that the Son is clueless. It's because he laid his uh, divine prophets in society. But it's a matter of role. So the Father, he's the one. He's the one who has that uh, prerogative. Mr. G. Do you see what I'm saying? You, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are talking in another, you are talking in another, in another continent. Based on, based come, on come, come to UK. Come back to no, no, look, it says, it says it. It is not for you. So, Mr. G. Mr. G. I just explained. Yeah, I understand. Do you know? Do you know what means know, of this? I know what. Do you know what means of this? I know what it Meaning, means. no one, no one knows about that. Again, that emphasizes my point. And like I said, I believe. Where is? It's marvelous, right? To declare it. That's what I'm well, one second. One second. One second. One second. So, here, that's the that's my problem. That's the main problem. The problem so the when no no not the roles. So now here, you are saying. Jesus is fully God. That's what you said your initial words, yes? yes. Now, if he is fully God, that means he's all knowing, yes? Remember what I said to you. To understand come on, come on. Listen, listen, listen. Be genuine. Be genuine. Listen, listen be genuine. Be genuine. What are saying? Uh, listen, I respect you because you are genuine. No, human nature. Uh, don't imitate. Don't, don't imitate this. Uh, this uh, okay. okay. Go back. Go back to the point. Yeah. Yeah, what happened is one of the hecklers is uh, um, attacking us. And one of the blocks, you know, the, 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 the book, he wants um, me to um, give you the book about Jesus and about Muhammad, um, about how much wives he had. Yeah, yeah. And he wants me to get one of the books. Well, I don't know. Just leave it. That just if, if I don't think, I don't know who's that brother. I don't know. Who. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Which one you want? I don't know which one. I don't know. 
Quran? Is it Quran? You take it. Okay. So, so now here, Jesus knows about himself that he doesn't know about the hour. You accept? Jesus knows that he doesn't know about the hour. Yes? In the flesh, yes. He didn't say that. So is his... No, one second. He, what he said in the flesh, I don't know. Okay, so... Do you know what means no one? Because I will tell you something. When we speak to the Christian, listen, listen. No, no, he said no one, no one, no one. It's, it's, I'm, I'm stick to that. It's no one, not no man. No one knows about the hour. No one. Yeah? No one. Here. No one knows about the hour. Is the fact. Yes, different version. No, in, no, no. In, in, in Gospel of John, no man. Yeah? But in the in the other ones, in Luke, in the other ones, they say no one. So I'm talking about. And Mark, it says no one. So we are not talking about. No man knows. So when yeah. says no man is supposed yeah. to be Where is it? That's in Matthew. You said, you said no one. Where is the, where is the one? Here, I'm not. You show me. He said, hey, which one? We have here. Here, he said, but therefore, no one, no one knows about the hour. Here they said, no one knows about the hour. The English standard version, again, in the day of, no one knows about the hour. Yeah? No one knows about the day of the earth, not even the angels in the heavens, nor the sun. Okay. No one about that. So, so, so listen, listen, listen. This is, no, 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 no one, no one. So, no one, no one. It doesn't mean anything. Don't go around the bushes. Yeah? Yeah. So, no one. So, no one knows about the hour. Yes? When no one knows about the hour, including. Okay. So, by the way, by the way, do you believe that King James Bible, you know it's translated Kobe, yeah? I, I can respond. Let me let you say. Sorry. Was it translated Kobe? So, translated from something, yes? So it was translated from something. If you go to the original source, it says about talking no one, not no man. So the original source is no one. Yeah. No, no. Uh, let me finish now. Now here you say, we said no one knows about the hour except the Father. Add, adding to this, even he said, emphasize about himself, including the Son. Even the Son doesn't know about the hour. Now here he said in the flesh. They just wanted to distinguish the flesh of Jesus. They said, here's the flesh. They come to us all the time, the Christian here, they come to us. They said, you, your body, you have a you have a soul, yeah. What is it? What they say? What you you have the three things? Do you have a soul? Yeah, body, soul, and spirit. They said you have this. We have three in one. They said to us here, yeah. but he said me and my soul, etc. We say we are, we are talking about the same thing. Now, when it comes to them, they wanted to say, if I know something, that means my soul knows it about it. Yeah, am I right? And myself knows about it. So that's why when it comes to the hour, so Jesus doesn't know about the hour in the flesh. Or in, or in as a son. He said the son executed himself. It was a time, it was the context of that. People came to discuss with Jesus about his divinity. If he knows about the hour, why does he need to lie? Why does he need to say something to misinform people and to keep the Christian debating for the last 2000 years, for the next 2000 years, talking about his divinity rather than to say, actually, he could say what you said, your interpretation. You say, the son in the flesh, doesn't know about the hour, but the son in the spirit knows about the hour. He didn't say that. You are you are putting things in the mouth of Jesus which he didn't say, basically. Okay. That's a, I'll respond to that. So we have the words of Jesus um, and we have it corroborated amongst eyewitnesses. So we have Matthew, we have John, you know. We have eyewitnesses it says out of the mouth of two or three witnesses that the master be established. What are you? That is that is the standard for testing and the testing question. And we see that in the Gospels. Now, the words of Jesus are firm when it comes to his divinity. So in yeah. uh, John chapter 11, verse 25, Jesus says, I am what the I resurrection have? and the life. Just one second. What he that believeth in me, Alas? Yeah, he shall live. Yes. And he goes on to say in verse 26, and whosoever liveth and believeth in me, Keep Shall Keep So, when someone says they are the resurrection and the life, Allah عليك يا سيدي جزاك الله خير كيف حالكم إن شاء الله خير آمين طمنا عليه ما صح اللي أقعد معك والله يعذني في الدعوة الله يرضى عليك يا سيدي جزاك الله خير أسأل الله يتقبل يا سيدي كيفك هذا إيش أخبارك كيف حالك عمو السلام عليكم ورحمة الله جزاك الله خير السلام عليكم أهلا عمو كيف حالك 
شو اخبارك؟ ان شاء الله بخير. ما شاء الله عليك، كيف صحتك هسه احسن؟ الحمد لله، الله يبارك فيك. يا اوكي، كريم. السلام عليكم. So you know, I think you finished what you mentioned, yeah? You finished. You had enough time, didn't you? It doesn't matter. I know what you Verse 18. Yeah. It says, No man has seen God at any time. Yeah. And it says, If you see me, you see the Father. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he hath declared me. Now, if you were to open up in your, uh, your version, NLT, it says, Jesus effectively is God, God himself. So, people have to study John chapter 1, verse 18. Okay. That proves the divinity that he has. Do you, know, do, you know when the, do you know, first of all, you see here, look at this, the history of, of, of Gospel of John. Let's go through the history. That's all the problems of Christianity came from the Gospel of John. All of it come from the Gospel of John. Well, I will tell you. Here, we have, we have Mark, was the first, the third Gospel, yes? And Matthew and Luke, yeah? And then Gospel of John came after. You'll find the only begotten son is only in the Gospel of John. If you see me, you see the Father, Gospel of John. All of the things that talks about the divinity of Jesus, you'll find them in the Gospel of John. Where the other ones, they don't talk about this. They never touched it. If, if that's the case, if Jesus was walking on earth, preaching people that he is God, why those, the other, the other Gospel, why they didn't pick it up? Why they didn't say the same things? Why only in the Gospel of John, and let alone that Gospel of John is the latest one, the latest Gospel to be written. And actually, John himself, he is supposed to be copying from Mark in the first place. Adding to this, that John, he is already, he is not even, even people, they have vague uh, personality about the Gospel of John. And even in the beginning of the Gospel of John, what they say, this book is according to John. Meaning, if you, with a simple English, English is your first language, yes? It's not my first language. And I know, understand, I, and I understand that when you say this book is according to, meaning the person is not the one who's, who wrote it, meaning someone wrote it on according to someone else. Am I right? So when I say to you, when I say to you, these words is according to Mr. G, yeah, meaning not necessarily you wrote it, rather than you may say it to me and I wrote it on your behalf. So we have a vague people who wrote it on behalf of Gospel of John, let alone John himself is vague character, because even the Christian scholars, they debated the, the personality of, of, of John. Adding to this, all the problems of the Christianity come from the Gospel of John. Where do you find in the other Gospel? Why if Jesus went going around teaching people, worship me, I'm God. I, you know, it's so simple in the other Gospel to mention that. But rather than all of the other Gospels, they don't deal with Jesus as God. But when it comes to Gospel of John, it's the only Gospel that indicates about the divinity of Jesus. If you see me, you see the Father, the only begotten Son. You're talking about all of these nonsense as from the Gospel of John. Okay. So, one thing that um, Sheikh Mohammed um, has maybe slightly overlooked with respect to you, brother, is, no problem. is, is um, the verse in the book of Hebrews, which basically says, in um, verse chap uh, Hebrews chapter one verse eight, it says, unless you, unless you, unless you, unless "Read, read." It says, "But unto the Son, this is the Father talking. But unto the Son he saith, Thy throne, O God, is for ever and ever. The Father, according to born again Christianity, according to the Word of God, the Bible, has a God. The Son has a God." And the Holy Spirit has a God. Now, this is the thing. This this sounds, you know, but it is true. Now, um, thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is a scepter of thy people. People will say, oh, but this is Paul. No, this verse comes from Psalms chapter 22. So even King David is aware of this verse. Now, I know for within Islamic theology, the Torah is missing, 
Yes, leave, 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 leave your Islamic leave, leave your okay. theology. Okay. We're, talk, we're talking about Trinity, yeah? Okay. Just don't, don't, you know, don't go all over the place. Just no, stick, stick to the text. Well, clearly this verse in Hebrews chapter 1 verse 8 is in the Psalms that we have uh, today. Now, some will say, why did Jesus say in John 17 verse 3? Uh, I'm going to, uh, sorry, they will say the Father is the one true God. They say that in John the only, 17. Yeah, the only true God is the Father. Yeah. But is this not the same John that Muslims say, like, like uh, Muhammad, uh, uh, Sheikh Muhammad has said, that this is where all the problems are? But it's one of the biblical arguments. It's one of the biblical arguments of, of Muslims that John 17 verse 3 says that the Father is the true God. No, who told you? First of all, I will tell you something. No, no, lots of people said it. You didn't. You didn't get my point. My point is. My point is. When we are when we are saying this, we say all these contradictions. Not just only. By the way, for me, even the the three gospels they are not source of information for me. I'm saying to you that even the Gospel of John, all these contradictions. That's my point. My point is that about the divinity of Jesus, that it was more emphasized in the Gospel of John compared to the others. No, no, that's my it. point. Where is in the others talking about proclaiming the divinity of Jesus? Talking about his God to be worshipped. That's my point. Okay, so now that's a very good point. And I'll answer that super So, first John chapter 5, verse 20. I'll, I'll join, John. I'll join. I don't want John. I'll read this one and then I won't. I, I don't want John. My, John. my John is the problematic thing. John is the problematic thing. The other ones is more reasonable. Like you could understand, you could maybe could have a sip of the truth there. I'll do but this. I'll do this now. I respect, I respect your request. I'll do this one verse in John and that's it. So, 1 John 5 verse 20 says, And we know that the Son of God is come and have given us an understanding that we may know him that is true. And we are in him that is true, even in his Son Jesus Christ. Salam. This is the true God. That's my point, but you listen, um, you are you literally emphasizing the same thing. And and I am saying to you, advising you, first of all, you see here, Jesus firstly is not all powerful, not all knowing. He has he's ignorant about certain things. On his, on his own, on his, with his own words to say, no one knows about, he doesn't know about, neither the son, you are bringing the, the man, the flesh, and you're bringing all your nonsense there. Well, he didn't say that. We need his speech, his saying to say, I know, but not my, you know, meaning, by the way, if Jesus has totally independent will, as you mentioned, in, in spirit or in flesh, which means he chose to be ignorant in flesh, yes? He didn't choose the seventh no, if if he if he has independent will, that means he has the choice. Firstly, he doesn't have firstly has to be all knowing, which means he chooses to be in flesh, choose to be ignorant in flesh. So from this, according to you, that means that's worse. Means God to choose to see certain 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 of his characteristics, like for example, to seize his knowledge, to seize his mercy. He can seize. What's this? That's, that's worse even than to say he was himself as God, as God the Son doesn't have, doesn't have the knowledge. If he has independent will, how he how come he doesn't know? If he's able to know, if he has access to the information, let alone that on the day when he was dying, according to you, what he said? What he said? Why have you forsaken me? He's talking to who? Who has forsaken who? If he has power, why he need to ask someone else? Or did he choose to suicide? Okay, okay, so you're calling it suicide. So the suicide. No, it's not suicide. Now I ask you, if, if, if people came to kill you and you have the means to defend yourself, to protect yourself, and you choose not, you were killed, is this suicide? Well, why, would you, why would you mix up a voluntary sacrifice to suicide? So that's suicide. If, if people came to me and I'm able to defend myself, I'm able to run away, I'm able to do things, and I choose to put myself forward, and put my hand behind me to kill, to, uh, to kill me. That's suicide. But isn't that a depletion of value? No, so that's suicide. That's the definition of suicide. De define what suicide, which means a voluntary 
choose to, to, to die. That's suicide. Shall we, shall, we, shall, we check, shall we check the definition of suicide? He killed himself. Listen, the suicide, the suicide, the suicide, by the way. Okay, good. Good. There are people who goes from here. Yeah. There are people who goes from UK here. They go to, uh, uh, to Switzerland. Is it Switzerland? Switzerland is the one who do the, the mercy killing or something like that. I think Switzerland, yeah? People who goes here from here have all this problem. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they go to Switzerland. They don't kill themselves. They go to the doctor. They will say, I'm done. I don't want to live anymore, etc. And there, because it's legal for them to, for the person. So they inject him. So the pers the, the doctor inject them or give them a tablet. Or sometimes they inject them with the injection to kill them. So this is exactly the same thing, but which you means find, you find suicide in the Bible. That's suicide. No, but you find the word suicide. It doesn't need to, to have because we need to use our our mind, our mind. You know, for example. Mind with the Lord, so it's a sacrifice. As part, so as he is committed suicide. suicide. He's prophesied for four thousand years. So, so he is committed suicide. Where's the word in the Bible? Suicide. Listen, you understand the meaning of suicide. I understand the meaning. So suicide is so simple. No, 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 no. Suicide not necessarily killing himself. Suicide, suicide not necessarily by yourself. It could be by your choice. Meaning to choose to be to be killed. No, no, no. I'm talking about suicide. Suicide is either you kill yourself or you choose to someone to kill you. No, suicide. The definition isn't matching up to the, to the reality. Shall we, shall we check, shall we check the definition of suicide? Can you see? Yeah, the suicide. Jesus the, the, no, he didn't kill him. He chose to, to be killed. And that is suicide. That's why the people who say, they said do suicidal missions. You know the military, they do suicidal missions. You know what means of this? You know what means of this? respect. You know, so. You know that some military, they say, they say those are suicidal missions. Means they go, there is a high percentage that they will never come back. Yeah? Meaning, not themselves, they could to kill themselves, but they will go to do certain things with the enemies, and then they may come back, they may not come back. They call it suicide admissions. Okay, yeah? Check, check, check. Now, I say this with respect. No problem, yeah. I say this with respect. Okay? And I respect that's what that's. You know, don't take it the wrong way. But I don't believe that Jesus committed suicide the same way as we see in the hadith. That Muhammad tried to commit suicide. I you see where that's what we call it. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's that's disrespectful. But anyway, yeah, that is be because I will tell you something. I'm not trying to be wrong. By the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, by the way, by the way, I will tell you something. No, no, no. You I, 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 already, you I'm already. Saying, I'm saying it's not the same. No, it's actually that's then disrespectful. The yeah, that's big difference. Okay. Firstly, firstly, there is something called you need to understand our hadith, our hadith perspective. That hadith, first of all, I will, I will, no, well, no, I will tell you, it has issues. I'll tell you what the issues. The issues is the person who, he, who, 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 who narrated it, firstly, they said Aisha. Aisha wasn't born when the Prophet ﷺ first revelation came to him, firstly. Secondly, the one who narrated from Aisha, he was two years old when Aisha died. Yani the, the narrator who narrated, this is how, this is how much we have, we have sophisticated tens of narration. Zuhri, he narrated from Aisha. Aisha, when she died, Zuhri, the narrator, was two years old. So there is definitely gap. So he must have heard it from people. Since he skipped the narrator, for us that shows the, the weakness of the hadith. Yeah? It's, it's weak, it's weak. It's weak, it's been weakened by many scholars. Even though that hadith, for you to know, even though, 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 though that hadith is in Sahih Bukhari, and Sahih Bukhari is one of the best books of hadith, but yet in this topic, in this matter, the narrator, was two years old when the when Aisha died. So it's not in the autobiography of No, 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 no. It's in Sahih Bukhari. It's Sahih Bukhari. I'm saying no, no. It's in Sahih Bukhari. It's Sahih Bukhari. I'm saying to you, it's in Sahih Bukhari. And as well, the problem is with this hadith. That's for you educating you. Educating. I'm educating. No, no. Ibn Ishaq mentioned that. I'm not talking about the first one who talk about it. Ibn Ishaq, one who is greater than Ibn Ishaq, who is Bukhari. Does he mention what he tried to do? Yeah. Now here, even though, even though, yeah. Even though that hadith is sahih, first of all, Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a human being. Yes? Yeah? So he's a human being. So someone appears to him out of the blue, squeezing him, telling him to read, etc. So he came down, he was terrified, he was in a, in a, in a situation, and we have psychiatrist as well, who's listening behind the camera. She understands someone 
who suddenly thinks, and he keep not just that, on one day as well, he, uh, uh, Angel Gabriel, show him in his great image that he was covering between the eyes. When he saw all of this, he, this is something he's a, that tells us he's a human being. It applies on him, what applies to a human being. But here, the same hadith that you use, in a sneaky way, so to say, yeah, the same hadith that you use, the same hadith tells, Angel Gabriel came to him, said to him, you are a prophet and messenger of Allah, to give him a firmness. So that's why, even though he's still a human being, and things happen to any human being, that's why. But here, the fact that all the issues, obviously, with his you know, loved ones dying, and then he felt a certain way. No, no, I'm not denying. I'm not denying. No, by the way, this this has nothing to do with the loved ones. I'm talking. This hadith is the beginning of the revelation when Angel Gabriel. It didn't happen. He tried to throw himself off. I'm saying to you, it didn't happen due to the hadith, the weakness of the hadith. Even though, even though, if the hadith is sahih, yeah, even though, if the hadith is sahih. We are using again another thing. That hadith was in the beginning of Revelation. He has no clue what appeared to him in the cave. Yeah? So the point I was making, Sheikh, was that. So, and he is a human being. So suicide, it happens. Anyone, anyone can, by the way, and since Islam, and if Islam, by the way, if Islam did not prohibit suicide, then suicide will be allowed. Do you understand? Islam prohibits suicide. Allah says in the Quran, Don't kill yourself. That Allah is merciful upon you. Allah clearly mentioned the suicide is, uh, is not allowed in Islam. Otherwise, it's permissible. Do you understand? So for us, for us, for us, yeah, that's the perspective. That for us, we uh, we stick to the text. If Allah did, if Allah didn't allow, for example, if Allah told us in the Quran is allowed to fornicate, then we for, that, well, there's no there's no problem. But because Allah mentioned clearly in the Quran, for example, don't kill others, don't uh, don't kill yourselves, and all of these things, that's that's our source of information. So we stick to the text, unlike you. So when it goes, when it goes, well, yeah, we stick to the text. Unlike you, unlike you, for example, we have, we have the most, we have, we, look, look at, look at you guys, look at you guys. I'm, I'm saying to Jesus, Jesus, peace be upon him, for example. He was, for example, he was circumcised. Are you circumcised? No, I, I, the answer is no. The answer is no. Do you know why? Because I will tell you, I will tell you why. Because the Christian, because the Christian, yeah, because the Christian, yeah, because the Christian, they don't do that. Jesus was following. Jesus, do you eat pork? So, do you eat pork? The Bible says everything is lawful, but not expedient. Who, who, who said? Who said that? Paul. So, these are Paul words, yes? No, no, no. These are Paul words. What are? Did, did Jesus eat pork? Remember, he had his gospel. Didn't he eat pork? Let's have respect. No, no. Uh, you see here. That's that's my problem. So Jesus, Jesus, firstly, he didn't come to change. The, no, you, you brought something. You deserve it. No, no. Let me come. Let me just say. Going back. So let's agree with you. Do you agree Jesus has committed suicide? I don't want it to be shouting. So the point, the point I'm just making regarding the Lord Jesus Christ being suicide. That's why so yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's what we're talking about. So, the point I'm making is when you're saying that, there's obviously, as you're saying, so we have been trying to. I'm saying, I will go with you, I will go with you, by the way, I will go with you. Even if that hadith, still God has protected him and didn't protect Jesus to commit suicide. Okay. So then. The topic of the conversation. <laughs> Did he hit this after the So when you read First uh, Timothy three sixteen, it says, "And without controversy." Let's wrap up, by the way, because it took too long time. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it up. So maybe you and then. No, you and finish. You and finish. You and then me and finish. You're done. Yeah. Okay, okay. okay, so it says in First uh, Timothy three sixteen, it says, "And without controversy." Great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. So this is a, whose word is this? This is a clear verse. Whose word is this? Okay, possible. Saying <laughs> that's my that best. God manifested in the flesh. Now, okay. You have a problem with? Uh, I have a problem with, with many Paul, things. With Paul. I have a problem with Paul. Do you know why? Paul, listen to this, yeah. Like, he was a bounty hunter, yeah? This is very interesting. Yeah, he was a bounty hunter. He was chasing... Yeah, I'm so glad we're talking about it. Yeah, he was chasing Christian and handing them 
to the Romans to, to kill them, to crucify them. And actually, I believe he's one of those ones who, who actually, who, uh, who, who did the conspiracy against Jesus in order for him to be crucified. He was one of those ones, yeah? He didn't meet Jesus. Yeah? He never met Jesus himself in person. What happened? And then suddenly, suddenly, look at this. Suddenly, he went somewhere and then suddenly, God revealed to him. And then he become what? Because that's the thing here. Oh, that's the interesting point, by the way. The interesting point, the, the interesting point, is in Christianity, yeah? But, and by the way, that's that's what, this is what the French, the Christian and French, who did in our country, is the same as the English who did in certain countries. Part of the thing, they said, if you cannot change people's faith, yeah, then corrupt their faith. Introduce something to their faith. So what they have done in India, subcontinent, when they found Muslims, they are so strong in their faith, they introduce Qad, Qadjanis, those who call themselves Ahmadis, in order to corrupt the faith of the Muslims and to divide them. And they were successful to do that. That's what they have done. When they try as well to corrupt as well the faith of the Muslim and Hindus and other things, for example, to try, try to divide them, they introduce Sikhism into the, into the thing. So that's how, how they do. The same thing in Algeria and other things. They introduce certain things. So Paul was one of the first ones. They found those people are monotheist Christians. They are followers of Jesus. And we cannot, and the more we torture them, the more they become more stronger in faith. What's the right way? Let's, let's introduce something to them. You know what? Jesus is God, rather than to me. And that's how it is. That's why you will find the people who run away, actually, from Paul himself. Because anyone who did not even accept his idea, which is about the truth. And, the, you know, the irony is, the Romans were against, as empire, were against Christianity, but they were happy with Paul. You see, that's the problem. They were okay with Paul. And then suddenly Paul starts saying to them, indicating to them, those ones who are monotheists, who didn't accept his idea, that this was happening. And he himself, who never met Jesus, talking about God in the flesh. Talking about God, it's okay, everything is lawful. Talking about the pork is allowed, you don't need to have circumcision. Which means this is throwing all the teaching of Jesus in the bin. And introducing everything, it's okay to do that. As long as you believe in Jesus. We have to definitely be part to because yes, we have. said some major, major, major. Yeah, of course, major. And there's more major things as well. But anyway, finish, finish, I need to finish, I need to go. You That's too much. Okay. You, you had more than time, more than enough. Okay, so we're wrapping up now. Firstly, we we don't believe by works you are saved. I don't believe this is a Pauline uh, style of gospel. The Bible does make it clear. It's by faith and faith alone. Yes, with no with no understanding. But, and also, we see in the book of James that through our faith, our works will be manifest. Yeah. Primary thing was faith alone. But you finish? You finish. What is the one minute? So, so oh, two minutes, one no, minute, no, no, no. one minute. Okay. We need to finish. So, you mentioned about Paul not being authentic. If you read Galatians chapter 2, Galatians chapter 2, it says in verse, uh, in verse 8 to 9, in verse 8 to 10, it says, For we were effectively in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same was mighty in me towards the Gentiles. And when James, Peter, which is Cephas, and John, who seemed to be pillars unto me, they gave to me and Barnabas the right hands of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen and they unto the circumcision. Only they would that we should remember the poor. The same which I also was towards me. Anyways, no, we okay, 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 okay. We finish. So, so now, okay, this is the end, guys. Okay. So, okay. I've just read a verse in um, Galatians chapter two, verse eight to ten. Okay. This basically you're, you're not preaching. You should be in church. Why are you coming here? We need to finish. Listen, listen. You are half an hour wrapping up. Listen, your last words. Yalla, please. So, the evidence of Paul is absolutely fine. He verified his gospel. That's my point. In Galatians 2, verse 8 to 10. Read yourself. Thank you. Thank you, so you Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are, we are, you know, it, it know was good. It was good. Time. It was good. I know. By the way, here, good. that's why we said with our friend here. Thank you so much. Anyway, no, by the way, I respect, I respect that. We hope we'll have uh, more discussion in the future. Yeah. By the way, my, my brothers and sisters in Islam, Alhamdulillah, it was actually a fruitful discussion. And I wish in the future that our brother, inshallah, Allah open his heart and mind to the truth. 
to accept the truth about the oneness of God rather than associating with God and the partners, rather than to worship idols, rather than to worship things, rather than to worship human beings. Thank you. Anyway, that's what we are, and that's what we are teaching. And actually, that's why Christian, every Christian has their own theology, has their own teaching. And that's why it is lost. Even the translation is lost. Even the original text is lost. Even their doctrine is lost. May Allah guide us all to the right path. Wa Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.